Hey folks, and welcome to the Pitmolic Symposium for the 13th of January 2020. Today we're going to run through some pairs. So looking at the American dollar Swiss franc on the monthly chart, we're in a pretty clear downtrend. We have lower highs and we have lower lows. Um, note as well that price is starting to move into this area of monthly demand. Uh, which is important to know. Okay, so we're going to mark off from here to here, and I'm doing that because this was an area of monthly demand. Price poked into it, so the beginning of the buy zone was from, was changed from here to here. Okay, so this is where you look to buy again the next time. We move it down to here. Price came the next time, we move it lower. Then price came a little bit lower on this last test. Okay, and so each time price came down, we managed to have a, a, a bit of a bounce. Okay, so price is pretty low in this area of monthly demand. We're about maybe 60% of the way through it. Um, and we're starting to form these, these nice, um, as a market flow is starting to move down uh, through into this area uh, that has been tested several times. So there's a bit of weakness at this area here. Um, the flows are moving down. Um, and so we just wanna be kind of careful of, of that. Okay, so you wanna be careful um, uh, well, both buying and selling, okay, which sounds a little bit strange, but um, you want to be careful uh, selling because we'll be selling to weekly, sorry, monthly demand. You want to be careful um, uh, buying because we have tested this area uh, several times, okay? So what we want to do now is we want to take the information that we've gathered from this time frame down to the smaller time frame and start looking for clues, okay? So you can see here pretty clearly that uh, we're actually reacting at this area of weekly demand, okay? So we had this area that was formed, uh, a child, here tested it we left we're actually testing the edge of the child and now we're wriggling higher okay notice here that we did have uh, we had market structure was failed um, and it failed from from this area just here okay let me remove that and so this is an area that we could expect price to have a, a bit of a bounce from on the way down okay this is an interesting area for us because when price left here we managed to remove all of these lows here. Uh, we managed to cause market structure to fail, and we managed to move this major low here, which is actually a monthly uh, low. Okay, so this is a very uh, powerful area just up here. Okay, but for the time being, shorter term, because we're reacting at monthly demand, we can certainly start to look uh, to have some shorter term uh, buys from this monthly demand. And on the daily chart, we have some things turning out. We've seen the trend turn up. So we have uh, high lows and higher highs. We have these two lows moving up. We have these uh, these highs that are moving higher. Um, and we have this area of demand, which is the one is responsible for price uh, moving above this swing high here. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. So I think we could expect maybe a bit of a bounce from about the 96, 96 area here. Um, we want to be getting out of the trade before we get up to around here, this would be uh, kind of support becomes resistance. We'll probably have a bit of a reaction there. And then ultimately, uh, the thicket of liquidity, which is this area just up here, okay? So I think we can, um, if price manages to come down here before it gets up here, then I think we're in good shape. If price manages to move up here before it comes back down here, then I would, be, I would certainly wait um, uh, getting into that trade. Okay, let's have a look at the, the pound American dollar. Uh, this is pretty clear. We have uh, lower lows and lower highs, but something that's interesting is on the monthly chart is we had market structural, market structure fail from this area just here. So we have a really nice, powerful area of demand at about the 12300 area. Okay, I like that very much. Um, this is a pretty interesting uh, continuation pattern, but I wouldn't touch it because price rallied, we accumulated, we rallied, we saw some rejection. Okay, we poked into the beginning of the sell zone, which is which is here. Uh, and then we started to turn around. Okay, and price did not really manage to hold away from this area here. So I think this one's going to wash out eventually. Then we're going to move back to the origin of the area of demand that caused market structure to fail, which is going to be down here. So buying down here, and you could uh, as well take some take some shorts. Um, let's have a look what we see on the on the weekly chart. Um, yeah, we're reacting at this little continuation pattern here. The beginning of the sell zone was uh, around here. You can see this area was formed. The slingshot was pulled back to here. This is where price came to more or less. Now we're starting to move lower. Okay, so I think it'd be interesting to look for some shorts, uh, shorter term, but we want to wait until this area has been removed. Okay, um, 
once prices move through here, then we could look to position ourselves short at supply up in this area here and get out of the trade before we get back down to here. We have a look on the daily chart. What we have here, we do have this area here, this, this small continuation pattern just here. Okay, we have this. There's nothing in here for us. We do have um, kind of price... Um, you see prices getting squeezed and decide to break down to the low side, but there's no there's no demand in here. And so I wouldn't do anything. If I was going to do anything, I'd wait for price to move lower. I'd want to buy lower or sell higher. Okay. And so once once you can see it clear on the weekly chart, all of this stuff is taken out, which you can see uh, here. Once all this is taken out, then I think we could find our, um, our area of supply that's responsible for removing all of it, um, position ourselves short and get out um, around... Uh, where we have this area of weekly demand. You see the, the orange rectangle there. Okay, so that's what we have uh, there. Looking at the American dollar, uh, euro, go to the monthly chart, what's going on? Well, price is, uh, is pretty clearly moving lower. And um, we, have, we have orange dots at the top and we have gray dots here at the bottom telling us that we have prices moving lower. Okay, so we have supply being, um, is being respected and, and demand is being consumed by the opposing orders. Um, so this is what we have just here. Price is reacting at roughly the edge of this area of demand. On the weekly chart, you can see that we have the flows are starting to move higher. So we have like this, which is pretty clear. Uh, we have market structure that's failing. We have upward sloping trend lines. So there's good reason to start to buy. And you can see here that we had this major high price managed to move beyond it. And so there's probably going to be something in here that we could look to buy at. If we look here, we do have this area just here, which I think is quite interesting. Okay, just here, the uh, the 110, 30-ish area. Um, if we have a look on the, on the daily chart, what that looks like. Um, on the daily chart, I mean, price is, is still reacting at this uh, area of daily demand. We had a, we had a, a major low and we had these minor lows, how we had this one here. This is important because it removed this, and this is important because it removed this, and we're currently having a, a bit of a bounce at that area, and also this lines up nicely with the um, the automatic uh, trend lines as well. So this is telling us that, that we have some, some stuff that's uh, lining up nicely here. Um, this is kind of a tricky one because we do have opposing uh, a supply right here and a bit of resistance here, so uh, buying at this area here would be um, high risk, uh, lower reward, so I'd probably want to wait wait out on that and, uh, and maybe look for something that's a little bit more profound, uh, looking to buy a little bit lower. If we look here, you can see that we're actually reacting at this area of supply. been tested once, and then we tested it for the third time, so we have weekly supply that's currently driving price. Um, we do have this low here, which I like, and due to the fact that we managed to move above this high, so we have demand being respected, supply being uh, taken out and it all originates from this area here. If prices managed to move down to the 110, 30-ish area, um, I'd be keen to, to look to start to um, um, uh, to buy at that, at that price point there. Um, we don't really have any opposing uh, supply. There's nothing really in here. We do have this one here. We have nothing here because this has not accomplished anything yet. So we want to wait until that happens, which we can probably see on this time frame. Okay, so if price manages to uh, move uh, below here, um, we want to make sure that we don't have any real supply uh, forming as in, as in the form of a continuation pattern uh, responsible for taking this out. If we do, then, then this trade here, this buy here, is going to have a, a lower likelihood of working out. Okay, so you want to be a little bit careful about that. You, wanna, you, you want opposing orders or opposing supply or demand to be um, sufficiently far away from your entry. Okay, so and also on this one here, we can also move down this, we can move our entry down to this, we get like a bit of a, a bit of a better, a bit more volume there, okay, so we have this here, I really like this, how price came down, we formed this base and then we popped up, okay, uh, the origin of all of this originated from down here, which is nice, so this is just price rallying, accumulating, rallying, accumulating, rally, uh, rallying, then price is kind of pulling that, so the beginning of the buy zone for this area is here which has been tested, so now we can move that lower to here. And the beginning of the buy zone for this area is here. Okay, so we're probably going to start to see people begin to accumulate long positions from around this area here and lower. Okay, well, I'm going to live it like that. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next video.